Oh, hi. You must be here for the uh, ultimate millennial video that I promised you. Wow. Welcome to Ultimate Millennial. Uh, I am Cortland. Hello, YouTube. Today we're going to talk about Napoleon. <laughs> this book, uh, Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich. I was going to give like a breakdown of the book, uh, <clears throat> but it's actually quite dense. Uh, I've really enjoyed it so far because the guy talks like he's in the um, 40s or 50s, and I kind of like the, the cadence and the jargon and the, the uh, vernacular. But... Um, so it's 13 chapters, and as I was saying, they're pretty dense. And so I was going to ask my viewership if you wanted me to do... I'm going to do one chapter today, and then I'll ask you, do you want me to spend uh, the next 12 weeks doing each chapter? Or would you rather have like a breakdown, like a really quick one, or do you want me to do three videos of four, or what do you guys, what do you guys think? So, uh, without further ado, the first chapter of Napoleon Hill's Think, <laughs> Think and Grow Rich, it's, uh, it's supposed to be like, I'm on selfie mode, so that's, yeah. Anyway, chapter one, thoughts are things. Uh, there's a forward for the after that I have to get past. Um, <clears throat> so I've made a few notes here in this uh, in this particular section. The first section is basically just stories about people who had ideas and uh, and encountered obstacles on, along the way and overcame those ideas through persistence and maintaining their focus. So the first example is a. Uh, was a an associate of Thomas Edison, but he did his name was Edwin Barnes, and he didn't start off as an associate of Thomas Edison's. He started off as a um, as a as a secretary, basically. But he was he had a dream to work with the famous inventor, and so he went and worked for his company for a while. But um, that wasn't what he wanted, and so he he thought about it day and night. He wrote down uh, he wrote down his goals once a day that uh, he was going to work with him instead of for him. And eventually, an opportunity arose with the I believe it was the the dictator uh, Edison's dick. Ta dictation machine. Um, most of the people in Edison's employ did not believe in the invention, but this guy Barnes was like, this is my shot! I believe in you, Mr. Edison! And he started selling all of these machines. Okay, so I also promised you that I wasn't going to tell a lot of stories from the books like, um, like the authors do, um, but rather just give you the practical advice that the author offers. Um, but in chapter one, uh, he doesn't really, he just, he just tells a bunch of stories. But I think that there's an underlying message, and, um, uh, and I think that message is that thoughts are things, right? Uh, but not only that, I, I feel like the entire essence of the book can be found in the first chapter, and that is that what you think about is what you're going to get, and what you focus on is being... Um, he, he is kind of soft in the beginning with his terminology. Maybe he's being cautious or... or something like that. Um, because later in the book he starts referring to God and the infinite intelligence and... Um, and he's, he starts getting really deep into the idea that when you're 
uh, thinking anything with emotion, it uh, communicates to the infinite intelligence through your subconscious mind, and that uh, that object is manifested, that pattern is set, and um, and that can become a thing. But he also talks a lot about, especially in the first chapter, about persistence and the importance of persistence and the importance of uh, of determination and wanting the things that you want emotionally as opposed to just intellectually. Um, he, he doesn't talk about it in the first chapter, but later on in the book he talks about how uh, negative emotions, negative things will, uh, negative thoughts, will come into your mind and into your patterns of their own volition, whereas um, good things, good thoughts, good emotions uh, must be induced, which I've found to be true, and it is an interesting aspect of our existence. Uh, let me see if I can find a dope quote right quick, and I will read it to you. <coughs> More gold has been mined from the thoughts of men than has ever been taken from the earth. So it's that sort of thing. It's about, um, it's about, it's about the, the value of the thoughts that you have and the, the things that are inside of you and, uh, the value of persistence and the, uh, what would you call that? A trap, the, uh, pitfall of giving up too early. So um, there is a lot of practical advice in the book. It's not just stories and uh, lofty concepts. There, There's actually uh, several step-by-step -step things that, um, that you can follow. And there's even more than these four, but uh, I've been reading most of this on the Stairmaster, so... Uh, yeah. So, what do you think? Do you, do we want to do uh, one chapter a month? Or do, we, I mean, sorry, one chapter every Thursday. I'm still here every Thursday. Uh, or do we want to do, like, three, three chapters a week, and it'll take four weeks? Or do we want to do one chapter a week, and it'll take 12 weeks? It's up to you. I don't mind either way. I think there's a lot of it useful information in the book. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, um, I should let you know that I'm, I'm working very, um, very persistently. Myself and my team are working on a, uh, on an animatic series called The Broken Sword Chronicles. And here, here my to quick, uh, we'll have a website up, brokensordchronicles.com. I'll put it in the comments, There's the, or in the, in the description, which is above the comments. Feel free to comment and, uh, and like and share and stuff. And uh, we're going to do an Indiegogo campaign, so maybe put aside like $8 for me. Yeah, or eight or eight hundred dollars we're gonna have some pretty sick perks and uh and things like that it's it's amazing artwork is coming out of these people and i'm so proud to call them my friends and i am so honored to work with them um so it, it's coming out great we have some great voice actors and i'm i'm thinking we should we shall launch soon the website shall be up, uh, Indiegogo campaign, probably by the 26th. That is my, uh, goal date. So, I'm working! Like, like really working. Like, like working, you know. Um, okay. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next Thursday. There's gonna be a vlog coming soon. I can feel it. I've been thinking like all the time, oh, I should do a vlog. And then I'm like, hey, I got like, like 30 frames to color. So maybe I should color those frames. You know how stuff goes.
this. You know how it goes. So. I promised you a Thursday video. You got a Thursday video. Vlogs or bonuses. Uh, if you hit, if you hit subscribe, then you see more of me being a dork. And if you hit like, then um, then the little button changes colors. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Also, I think if you hit dislike, the thumbs down, that's dislike. If you press that one, then I think that um, that uh, I don't I don't know. I was I was gonna say something horrible, and then I was like, man, don't say horrible things. Um, probably like a ninja is gonna come to your house. Like, something along those lines. It's, I don't know what'll probably happen. Which could be cool if you like ninjas. Alright, bye!